best herbs to improve blood flow in legs and feet. Have you ever wondered why your legs and feet sometimes feel cold, numb, or just uncomfortable? What if I told you there's a hidden world of natural healing, right in your kitchen, garden, or even at your local grocery store? These aren't magical potions, but simple herbs that can help revitalize and rejuvenate your circulatory system. Welcome viewers, to an exciting exploration into the realm of natural health remedies. Today, we're going to delve into the universe of herbs, specifically those that are capable of improving blood flow to your legs and feet. These herbs aren't just about boosting circulation, they carry with them a cascade of benefits that can transform your overall health. In this journey, you'll discover age-old secrets and modern science insights, unlock the true potential of these natural healers and learn how to incorporate them into your daily routine. And by the end of our exploration, you might be surprised at how much power these tiny plants hold within their leaves, roots, and flowers. So stay tuned, because we're about to get to the root of better health and improved circulation. 1. Ginkgo Biloba Alright, let's dive right into our green encyclopedia. The first on our list is a herb that's been around since, well, before the dinosaurs roamed the earth. I present to you, the ginkgo biloba, or as I like to call it, the time-traveling tree. The ginkgo biloba is widely recognized for its distinctive fan-shaped leaves and its exceptional resilience, it's one of the longest living tree species on earth. You know what they say, old is gold, and in this case, the adage is particularly accurate. When it comes to improving blood flow to your legs and feet, ginkgo biloba doesn't mess around. This ancient tree has leaves rich in flavonoids and terpenoids, known antioxidants that protect your cells from oxidative damage. In simpler terms, it's a janitor for your bloodstream, sweeping away the bad guys and keeping things nice and tidy. The star feature of ginkgo biloba, however, is its ability to increase blood circulation. And no, it doesn't do this by casting some Harry Potter spell. Instead, it works by expanding your blood vessels and reducing the stickiness of your blood, allowing it to flow more freely. So, if you're having trouble with cold feet, both metaphorically and physically, ginkgo biloba could be your herbaceous hero. But wait, there's more. Studies have shown that ginkgo biloba also assists with cognitive function. Imagine your brain being a bustling city. Ginkgo biloba is like the traffic controller, making sure there's a smooth flow of cars, or in this case, thoughts and memories. A daily dose of ginkgo biloba might just turn you into the next Einstein. As for the recommended intake, Ginkgo biloba can be taken as a supplement, typically recommended at a dosage of around 120 to 240 mg per day, divided into two or three doses. Of course, don't forget to consult your doctor before starting any new supplement regimen. If supplements sound too boring for you, don't fret. You can always jazz up your meals with ginkgo biloba. Its nuts can be roasted and sprinkled over your salads, giving them a unique, earthy taste. Or how about a warm cup of ginkgo tea to start your day? It's like having a cup of herbal sunshine. However, a word of caution remember, ginkgo biloba nuts can be toxic if consumed in large quantities, so moderation is key. After all, you wouldn't want our time-traveling tree taking you to a prehistoric time of stomach aches and nausea, right? 2. Cayenne Pepper Ready to spice things up a bit? Well, then it's time for our next herb. Now, this one isn't as ancient as our friend Ginkgo Biloba, but it surely packs a punch. We're talking about the feisty cayenne pepper, a true culinary and medicinal superstar. Hailing from the capsicum family, cayenne pepper isn't just about adding a flavor kick to your food, it's a powerhouse of health benefits. 
Let's dissect its spicy secrets, shall we? Cayenne pepper gets its superpowers from a compound called capsaicin. This is what gives the pepper its characteristic heat, and trust me, it does more than just making you reach for a glass of water. Capsaicin works wonders in enhancing blood flow, particularly in the legs and feet. It stimulates the release of a molecule called nitric oxide, which acts as a tiny traffic cop inside your blood vessels, ordering them to relax and widen. The result? A smooth highway for blood to flow and reach your extremities, leaving you with warm and happy feet. But the cayenne pepper isn't all about heat, it has a sweet side too. It's known to aid in digestion and boost metabolism. So if you're looking to shed some extra pounds, cayenne might just be your spicy sidekick. It's also packed with vitamin A, making it not only a treat for your taste buds, but a feast for your eyes too. After all, who doesn't want a 2020 vision to admire the glorious color of a cayenne pepper? As for the recommended intake, a dash of cayenne pepper in your meals is usually sufficient to reap its benefits. But if you're one of those adventurous souls who love to walk on the culinary wild side, you can take it as a supplement, usually around 30 to 120 milligrams per day. If you're thinking about ways to incorporate cayenne pepper into your diet, let me tell you, it's as versatile as an actor in a one-person show. Sprinkle some on your avocado toast for a spicy kickstart to your day. Add it to your soups, stews, or sauces to bring a fiery twist. Or, if you're feeling particularly brave, try a shot of cayenne pepper and warm lemon water each morning. It's like a sunrise in a cup, hot and invigorating. Just remember, while cayenne pepper is quite the hot shot, it's not for everyone. It can cause heartburn or upset stomach in some people. So if you're new to the spicy game, start small. 3. Ginger Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey to the heart of the East, where our next herbal ally waits to be revealed. Enter ginger, the root of all wellness, a spice that's been warming up kitchens, hearts, and now, even feet, for thousands of years. You see, ginger isn't just about jazzing up your stir-fry or brewing a comforting cup of tea. Underneath its knobbly exterior, it hides potent properties that can boost blood flow, particularly in your legs and feet. The secret, gingerols and shogales. Compounds that lend ginger its distinctive warm and spicy flavor. These compounds are like tiny fitness trainers for your blood vessels, encouraging them to loosen up and expand. This, in turn, allows blood to flow freely, like a well rehearsed dance routine. So if you've been complaining about cold feet or numb legs, it's time to invite ginger to your rescue party. But hang on. The wonders of ginger aren't limited to improved circulation. It's a master of many trades. Got an upset tummy? Ginger is your digestive guru. Feeling nauseous? Ginger is your seasickness whisperer. Battling inflammation? Ginger is your natural warrior. This modest root really knows how to root out numerous health problems. As for the recommended intake, a teaspoon of ginger powder or about 1 to 2 inches of fresh ginger a day should do the trick. Incorporating ginger into your diet is as easy as a high school math problem. Well, for some of us. From a warming ginger tea to a zesty stir-fry, from delectable ginger cookies to a refreshing ginger lemonade, this spice can easily slide into any meal plan. Just remember, if your recipe calls for a pinch of ginger, it's probably asking for a punch of wellness. And if you think ginger is too old school, let me remind you of the wise words of the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, that which is done out of love always takes place beyond good and evil. Well, ginger might be old, but it's been loving our health and well-being since forever. 
putting it firmly on the side of good in our culinary and wellness books. 4. Horse Chestnut Ready to gallop into our next botanical wonder? Meet the horse chestnut, a tree that's not just strikingly beautiful, but also a robust health champion. Now, don't let the name fool you. There's no neighing or galloping involved. However, like a valiant steed, it does come to your rescue when it comes to health matters. The horse chestnut has a special knack for boosting blood flow in your legs and feet. And no, it doesn't do this by horsing around. Instead, it contains a compound called essen, which has the power to strengthen and tone your vein walls, promoting better blood circulation. Think of it as a personal trainer for your veins, getting them in shape to make sure the blood can race to the finish line, your legs and feet. But the benefits of horse chestnut don't stop at improving circulation. This mighty tree is also known for its anti-inflammatory properties. If your legs feel swollen or heavy, the horse chestnut is there to soothe and reduce the inflammation. And it's also been studied for its potential benefits in reducing symptoms of chronic venous insufficiency. Truly, a jack of all trades in the herbal kingdom. When it comes to the recommended intake, horse chestnut is typically taken as a supplement, and a standard dosage is around 300 mg of an extract standardized to 20% essen, taken twice daily. Incorporating horse chestnut into your diet might sound like a bit of a hurdle, as it's not typically used in culinary applications due to certain toxic components when raw. However, after proper preparation and processing, these can be rendered safe for consumption. Remember, the horse chestnut is more than just a pretty face in the park. It's a powerhouse of health benefits, ready to gallop to your rescue. So, are you ready to saddle up and join the ride to better health and improve circulation? 5. Go to Cola Brace yourself as we dive into the lush landscapes of the East once again, where our next green hero lies in wait. Introducing Go to Cola, or as I like to call it, the elixir of life. And no, despite its name, it has nothing to do with soft drinks. 6. But it might just be the refreshing tonic your health routine needs. Goda cola is an herbaceous plant hailing from the parsley family. When it comes to enhancing blood flow in your legs and feet, Goda cola is like a dedicated yoga instructor, encouraging your blood vessels to stretch and relax, thus promoting better circulation. This is mainly thanks to its triterpenoids compounds that help reduce inflammation and increase antioxidant production. This humble herb is also known for its potential in enhancing cognitive function, aiding in wound healing, and even reducing anxiety and depression. A real multitasker, right? No wonder it's been a part of traditional medicine for centuries. For the recommended intake, go to cola can be consumed as a tea, in capsules, or as a tincture, typically around 1 to 2 grams per day. Now, let's get creative with Gata Cola. Its mildly bitter taste can be a delightful addition to salads and stir-fries. Fancy a refreshing drink? Brew a cup of Gata Cola tea. Or how about a Gata Cola pesto as a twist to your pasta night? 6. Butcher's Broom Next up on our herbaceous journey we're introducing an ingredient that sounds like it's come straight out of a fairy tale, the butcher's broom. Now, this isn't what Cinderella used to clean the kitchen, but it's indeed a clean sweep when it comes to promoting better blood flow, particularly in the legs and feet. Don't be deceived by its unusual name. The butcher's broom, also known as Ruscus aculeatus, is a hardy evergreen plant known for its powerful medicinal properties. The active ingredients in butcher's broom, like roscogenin, act as vascular constrictors, helping to tighten and tone your blood vessels, resulting in improved circulation. It's like your blood vessels have hit the gym and they're lifting, toning, and showing off those circulation gains. 
It's beyond its circulation boosting prowess. The butcher's broom has other tricks up its botanical sleeve. Its anti inflammatory and diuretic properties can help reduce swelling and water retention. Additionally, it's been shown to help alleviate symptoms of chronic venous insufficiency and hemorrhoids. Talk about being a broom of all trades. When it comes to the recommended intake, butcher's broom is typically taken as a supplement with dosages around 100-150 mg of an extract standardized to contain 9-11% roscogenins, taken twice a day. Incorporating butcher's broom into your diet might seem like a magical task, given it's not commonly used in cooking. However, its young shoots can be prepared and eaten much like asparagus, if you're feeling particularly adventurous. And no, it doesn't taste like broomsticks. On a closing note, remember that while butcher's broom won't help you sweep your house any cleaner, it's sure to sweep up any circulatory concerns you might have. It's one more powerful herb in our arsenal, leading us to healthier and happier legs and feet. So, let's sweep those circulatory problems away, one herbal remedy at a time. 7. Hawthorn The plant that's not just a thorn in the side of poor circulation, but an actual boon, hawthorn, or crotagus, is more than just a pretty shrub with lovely flowers. It's packed with flavonoids, compounds that give it superpowers when it comes to improving blood flow particularly to the extremities like your legs and feet. By dilating your blood vessels and improving the integrity of your capillaries, Hawthorne is like a gentle gardener, ensuring the free flow of life's essential sappier blood. But Hawthorne isn't a one-trick pony. Beyond circulation, it has been traditionally used to support heart health, reduce symptoms of heart failure, control high blood pressure, and even to soothe digestive issues. So, in the spirit of Queen, it could rightly sing, I'm not just a pretty face, I've got everything it takes. When it comes to the recommended intake, Hawthorn can be consumed as a tea, in capsules, or as a tincture. A typical dose can range from 160 to 900 mg daily, divided into 2 to 3 doses. Incorporating hawthorn into your diet can be a delightful culinary adventure. Its berries can be used to make jellies, wines, and syrups. How about a hawthorn berry jelly on your toast for a heart-healthy breakfast? HTTPS, or a soothing cup of hawthorn tea to wind down your day. The options are as versatile as hawthorn's benefits. But before we wrap up, Here's a nugget of wisdom. Despite its prickly exterior, Hawthorne can truly be a friend to your health. In the words of everyone's favorite ogre, Shrek, ogres are like onions. They have layers. Well, Hawthorne is like ogres. Onions. It has layers of health benefits waiting to be unraveled. 8. Turmeric. For those unfamiliar, Turmeric isn't just a key ingredient in your favorite curry. This vibrant yellow spice also has a golden touch when it comes to health benefits. When it comes to promoting better blood flow in your legs and feet, turmeric takes center stage. Its active ingredient, curcumin, has been found to improve blood vessel function, which is like giving your circulatory system the VIP treatment, enhancing the blood flow right down to your toes. But like any good headliner, turmeric doesn't stop at one hit. This golden powerhouse is also famous for its potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, helping to combat inflammation, manage pain, and even playing a role in reducing the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and cancer. It's like turmeric looked at the list of potential health benefits and said, I'll take them all, thank you. In terms of recommended intake, turmeric can be consumed as a spice, in capsules, or even as a tea. The general recommendation for the supplement form ranges from 500 to 2,000 mg per day. 
Incorporating turmeric into your diet is as fun as painting the town red, or, well, yellow in this case. Its earthy, slightly peppery flavor makes it a versatile addition to many dishes. Sprinkle it under scrambled eggs or popcorn. Blend it into a smoothie, or even brew a cup of warming turmeric tea. And for those of you with a sweet tooth, fear not. A pinch of turmeric in your golden milk latte can make a comforting, healthy dessert. Here's a light-hearted fact for you. Despite being a key ingredient in many savory dishes, turmeric won't actually make you savory or spicy. I know. Shocking. But it may add a healthy glow to your life and a smooth flow to your blood. 9. Garlic. Hold on to your noses, folks, because garlic has just crashed the party. Now, garlic might not win any breath-freshening contests, but when it comes to promoting circulation, it's no joke. Rich in sulfur compounds like allicin, garlic has been found to boost the production of nitric oxide in the body, which helps dilate blood vessels and decrease inflammation. Essentially, it's like sending a relaxation specialist to your blood vessels, urging them to loosen up and let the blood flow free. Alongside its circulatory prowess, garlic is also acclaimed for its potential in lowering cholesterol, reducing blood pressure, boosting immunity, and even fighting against certain cancers. It's like the Swiss army knife of the spice world, multi-purpose and always reliable. Now, for intake, the commonly recommended dosage for adults is one clove, or around one gram, of raw garlic per day. Incorporating garlic into your meals is as easy as, well, garlic bread. From hearty pastas and robust stews to sizzling stir-fries and marinated meats, there's hardly a savory dish that doesn't welcome a hint of garlic. And if you're really dedicated, a clove of raw garlic can be consumed daily, just maybe plan your social events accordingly. So, despite garlic's reputation as a social distance enforcer, not only for vampires, it's actually a force to be reckoned with when it comes to your health. It may bring a tear to your eye and a stink to your breath, but it will also bring a lot of good to your blood flow, especially in your legs and feet. And that's a wrap, or should I say, that's a wrap, with extra garlic. 10. Bilberry And for our final act on this herbal odyssey, we bring you Bilberry, a true berry underdog that is ready to take the spotlight and shine. You might think you've never heard of it, but trust me, once you get to know Bilberry, you'll realize it's been the missing piece in your health and wellness puzzle all along. Let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the berry in the bowl. Bilberry might sound like the name of a cartoon character or a rogue hobbit from Middle Earth, but it is in fact a powerhouse when it comes to promoting blood flow, especially in the legs and feet. This humble berry is rich in anthocyanins, which are natural plant compounds that can boost the production of nitric oxide in the body, relaxing and dilating your blood vessels, and ultimately promoting better blood circulation. But bilberry doesn't stop at simply boosting circulation. It has been widely recognized for its eye health benefits, particularly in improving night vision. It's also packed with antioxidants, helping to combat oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. So while bilberry might not grant you the ability to see into the future or read minds, it could potentially help you spot that pesky nighttime snack lurking in the shadows. The typical recommended intake of bilberry extract is about 160 to 480 mg per day, standardized to 25% anthocyanidins. As ever, please have a chat with your healthcare provider before incorporating a new supplement into your diet. Incorporating bilberries into your diet is a very delightful task. These tiny flavor bombs can be eaten fresh made into jams or sauces, baked into pies, or even steeped into a soothing tea. 
Imagine starting your day with a bowl of oatmeal sprinkled with fresh bilberries or winding down with a comforting cup of bilberry tea. That's some berry good living. Small in size, but mighty in benefits, it's ready to show us that when it comes to improving blood flow in our legs and feet, every little berry counts. And just like that, we've arrived at the end of our adventure through the verdant valleys of vascular health. So, while you're spicing up your meals with garlic or sipping on your hawthorn tea, don't forget to move those legs, keep those feet dancing, and most importantly, enjoy the journey to better health. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful health journeys like this. Stay healthy, keep those blood vessels happy, and remember, life is a circulation, so let's keep the flow going. Until next time, this is your guide signing off, wishing you health, happiness, and all the best herbs life has to offer. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep being you. Peace out.